Hey, what's up guys, it's Kyle Benjamin Turner and in this video I'm gonna share with you exactly how I edit photos of a client. So this client is a typical client that I have who basically wants portraits of themselves. Um, you know, for social media, they wanna wear a nice outfit and do a few locations and a few different outfits. So we're gonna jump into my computer, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. We're gonna edit these photos in Lightroom and Photoshop so you should get a good idea of how to get a really clean professional look when you're shooting photos for clients. So let's jump over to my computer. All right, so as you can see here, this is a photo of my client that we took in downtown Toronto. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask myself first, what do I want this photo to look like? Now, I never go into a photo and just go, okay, you know, I'm gonna start tweaking these sliders over here and seeing what I want, because I don't want to do that. I wanna look at this photo and say, what do I need out of this photo to make it look as good as I want it. So the first thing is that we're gonna to wanna to brighten up this photo. I wanna brighten up this photo just a little bit. As you can see, there's some sun hitting this window up here. So I don't wanna make it too bright to the point where that gets you know, obviously blown out. But what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that his skin doesn't look like it's in a shadow. I wanna make it look like his skin is actually bright enough. So that's one of the first things that I'm gonna do when I'm looking at a photo like this. And then the last thing that I, when I'm looking at a photo like this is I notice that the blacks are not that dark. So I'm gonna add some contrast into this photo a little bit later. But I just wanted to give you guys off the bat the two first things I think about when I look at a photo like this. And um, I never go into a photo and just start adjusting things, seeing how I want it. I wanna know how I want it to look before I start editing it. That way I actually get a consistent look in my Instagram feed when I'm actually editing like a ton of photos or a ton of different clients or a ton of different models that I'm working with. So let's get into it right away. You guys are gonna see my full process. I don't use any presets. I go straight from scratch and create a preset for the actual uh, photos that I'm using by syncing. Um, in the actual Lightroom catalog, okay? So let's get into it. So I'm gonna brighten this up. I wanna make sure that his face is bright enough. So I'm just gonna go right about there and then I'm gonna add some contrast in there, right about there. Now, as you can see, the whites are a little white, so I'm just gonna bring the whites down a little bit and the highlights, I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. So what you could do is you could bring it up and slide it down just to see where, the, where a good spot is. And then the shadows, just see where that can be. And the blacks, usually I keep around zero. So off the top, this is like a pretty good looking photo already. So this is before, this is after. So we just really made it pop. Like I said before, you know, I wanna know what I want the photo to look like before I start editing it. So when I looked at this, I wanted a bright and darker blacks. I wanted more contrasty. That's exactly what we did in the span of two seconds because I knew what I wanted before I actually started editing the photo, okay? So the next thing that I wanna do before I go into camera calibration and HSL and start messing with the color is I actually want to go and make sure the temperature is correct because it, let's say the temperature is too warm, when I start color correcting, I'm not gonna know how to color correct it properly. If I want a photo to be warm, typically I start adding in you know, uh, orange in the shadows in the color grading section, not in the actual uh, temperature section, which a lot of people will teach you how to do. I don't do it that way. Personally, I wanna get the actual look of how it looked like on this day, so obviously it wasn't this warm, so I'm gonna bring it and cool it down a bit. Now, obviously you can see that's a bit too cool. So I try and find that middle ground of what it was probably like on that day, right around there. Now there is a little bit of magenta. It's probably hard for you guys to see, but I'm gonna go and fix that magenta tint by adding in a bit of green. And this kind of looks like how it was on the day, maybe a little bit warmer, something like that. Okay, so minor, minor adjustments. Again, this is before, this is after. So as you can see, it's um, not a super warm photo, not a super cool photo. It's right in between. I wanna make sure that the whites are white and that we're not getting a photo that's overly warm or overly cool because we can add that in when we color grade a bit later. So right after I do that, I wanna make sure that it has the right amount of saturation. So I don't always use a saturation slider here. I usually typically like to use vibrance. And what I do is I go down and I go up and I find the sweet spot, okay? So right around here to me, it looks pretty good. And again, that's before, that's after, okay? So what I wanna do now is I actually wanna go into the camera calibration section and I wanna make sure that the skin tones are actually complementing the other colors in the image. So uh, some of you guys may know if you bring this to the side, you get that teal and orange look, which a lot of photographers do, obviously not this extreme. Uh, but what I do is I usually mess with the greens because when you mess with the greens, what it's doing is it's uh, fixing the blues and fixing the uh, reds, right? So the reds are obviously where most of the skin tones are. So I'm gonna tweak the green because that's the opposite of blue and red, right? If you're talking about RGB, which is how you know colors work in a computer, then you're gonna wanna tweak the green because the green is gonna fix the, the skin tones if there's any green in the skin tones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down a bit and that's a bit too yellow. If I bring it up, it's a bit too red. I just wanna find that sweet spot right around there. And if you see, if I turn that off and on, it's a minor adjustment, but it actually gets rid of those weird looking green tones in the shadows that we had there. So I'm really happy with that so far. Next for detail, I'm gonna bring the sharpening all the way to zero just because I'm gonna add the sharpening after I actually edit the image, just cause I don't wanna retouch the image once, um, you know, once I'm in Photoshop, I don't wanna have too much sharpness. I wanna add the sharpness after I've actually edited the photo. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to actually go here, um, shift and click, and we're gonna select all these photos, and I'm just gonna sync it across all of the photos. I'm gonna check everything except local, just, uh, local adjustments, transform, crop, and spot removal. There we go. Um, lens corrections are always on by default on my photos just because I like having that clean, um, how would I say it, that clean commercial look. So if I get rid of it, you can see it's a bit more stylized, which is cool for some looks, you know, moody looks. But for this, I want that cr uh, clean commercial look, all right? So here we go for that. Sometimes I add a little bit of clarity, just a little bit, but not for this photo. I like the way it looks so far. So that's how I'm going to keep it for now. Again, sync. And then now we've uh, synced the photos, like all the photos that we have here. The client selected these photos, by the way, he selected 15 photos, so we're just gonna go through these. So next, I just wanna make sure that these are all the right kind of lighting. So as you can see here, this one's a bit darker, you could tell by his face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring up the brightness just a bit there. And if anything happens, if I ever bring up the brightness a bit and I like the way his skin tone's at, but it blows out something in the background, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to fix the whites. So bring the whites down and then the highlights, I'm gonna bring that down a bit. Sometimes to get rid of that too much contrast, I'll either bring the shadows um, up a bit to get rid of the darkness and the shadows, and that should be fine. So I'm gonna bring up the blacks just a little bit right there and to me that looks pretty good something i also do to reference is go through the different colored backgrounds just to make sure that i'm getting the look that i want consistently so if it was on a black background or a white background it would still look good the reason i use white most of the time is because i want to make sure that i can see how white the corners of the image are so you'll see if i do this if i click l you'll see that this white actually blends in with the actual white here because i haven't brought down the whites too much if i went into the tone curve and uh, you know, I brought down the whites just here, you would see that I would actually get rid of that contrast between the whites. Although I like having the whites uh, pure white. That's kind of like one of my things that I like to do with my photos. So I've gotten this photo down. The next photo was taken at the exact same location right after this, so I'm just gonna sync that and we should get a pretty similar look. I might brighten this up just a little bit. So his skin, again, I'm looking at his skin. I want his skin to be bright. So I'm just gonna go there, bring the highlights down a bit. And I'm doing most of this by eye. I, I kind of know what I wanted to fix as I'm looking at the photo. So shadows a bit down and the blacks right about there. Contrast, we'll leave it where it is. And that to me is pretty good. You know that bright, nice commercial look, that's kind of what we're going for. Um, all right, and then we have this uh, next photo that we have here. So let me just see if there's anything that we can do. So automatically his skin is a little dark. I'm just gonna brighten that up a bit, add some contrast. I'm gonna bring the highlights back in just a little bit. Shadows up just a little bit. Uh, whites will add in some whites there and the blacks will bring that up a bit. So nice, um, contrasty, punchy, we got a good look there. The, uh, the white balance is still looking pretty good, so we're gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna sync it with the rest of the photos we took immediately after that. And we'll just take a look at these. Brighten up his skin just a bit there. Here, same thing, brighten up his skin just a bit. That should look pretty good. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to these photos. So we did already sync the colors across all the photos. So as you can tell here, I was actually walking and shooting this, so it's not super sharp. If we did add some sharpness, you would see that it would get a bit sharper, but we were walking as we shot this, so it wasn't the perfect condition. Um, but you'll see here, I'm just gonna make sure that his skin is bright enough, so right about there. What's cool is we shot this on a street and it looks like we're using a reflector, so um, we didn't actually use a reflector, but we got that look, so I'm happy about that. Just gonna go like that and then I'm just gonna sync this with the rest of the photos in this section there we go all right so his skin's a bit uh, bright there so we're just gonna bring that down just a little bit and that should be fine maybe some slight tweaks here there we go that's it here let's bring the exposure down just a bit right about there and then we'll just make some minor tweaks there we go and then this one his skin's a bit dark right so that's the main thing we're gonna fix brighten it up Contrast, bring down the highlights just a bit. The whites, the blacks, there we go. So that should be good. Let's go to this photo, let's see what we got. So right off the bat, temperature is a little off, it's a little too cool, and it's also too dark on his skin, so we're just going to brighten up his skin like that, add a bit more contrast, and then we're gonna lower the highlights, probably bring in some shadows, lower the whites, that's for sure, right about there, and bring up the blacks, maybe something like that. And then I might bring this down just a little bit and then bring up the shadows just so his skin's not too dark. Add a bit more contrast. Something like that looks pretty good. There we go, I'm happy with that. So now we're just gonna go and fix the white balance. So I'm gonna go and add in those warmer tones, maybe a bit of magenta, let's see. 
So right about there looks like how it naturally was on the day. So I'm gonna keep it right about there. And then we're gonna go here, we're gonna sync these photos. Okay, here we go. So first thing I'm gonna fix is the white balance. So right there, maybe add a bit of green in there, right there. So that looks good to me. So this one is a bit too bright. Sometimes if I have too many adjustments here from previous photos, I'll just go and reset the tone. And now I just wanna find that right exposure again. Remember, I'm trying to brighten up his face, right? The main goal is that I want his face to be properly exposed. So I'm just gonna bring this up a bit until it looks bright, add in some contrast. And now you can see the contrast added in a bit too much whites into the image. So I'm gonna bring the highlights down a bit, gonna bring the whites down a bit. And then let's see what we're gonna do with the shadows. Maybe make it a bit darker. And then the blacks, they kind of like where the blacks are right now. So that's about fine. And it's okay for me. Now remember, I'm not doing any crazy adjustments and the HSL, I'll probably change towards the end if I decide to. Uh, but for right now, this is good. I'm just gonna sync that with the next photo in this set. Here we go. And I'm just gonna make sure I have the right brightness here. There we go. Bring the highlights down a bit. Shadows. Just slight, slight tweaks, slight tweaks. I want, I want there to be a consistent look. So this is very, very warm. It obviously didn't look like this on this day. So we're just gonna cool it down. Maybe add in some greens, let's see. It seems like there is a weird tint happening somewhere there, but this looks okay. I don't wanna make it too warm, let's see. Maybe right around there. Something like that looks good, okay. So I'm just gonna sync this with the next photo right next to it, here. And then we're just gonna make sure that the brightness is okay on his skin. Brightness seems okay, maybe the, the blacks, let's see. I'm gonna find what it is that's uh, it's a little too contrasty with the whites. Maybe it was a little bright while we were shooting. So I'm gonna bring the highlights up and then bring the whites a bit more down. And then that should be okay. Let me go to 12% just to see how it looks. So I'm pretty happy with these so far. Let's see the whole set. Good, good, good. So very basic adjustments, as you can see, I don't go too crazy with the edits. Um, all the edits are minor adjustments, but we just want it to look clean, right? That's my goal is doing a clean edit for the client. Um, when I used to do a lot of like film-esque edits, you know, clients wouldn't exactly want that, right? Like not everybody wants a film edit for their photos. And once I understood that, uh, clients were a lot more happy shooting with me because they were noticing that they're getting a clean look. Like this is something that, um, you know, if they were to get this photo, it's just clean cut, that's it. It's that commercial look, like they're getting what they want, right? So it's something that you can rely on. Whereas a film look, you can't rely on getting a good film look all the time. So I'm pretty happy with this. I like the whites being a, a bit brighter, so I'm just gonna tweak that just a little bit. Get that nice bright look. Okay, there we go. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, is there anything else I can add? No, I like these. So I'm gonna select all, and then I'm gonna edit these in Photoshop. So we're just gonna open up Photoshop and let's see how it goes. So I'm super happy that you guys are here watching this video. If you have any questions, obviously comment them down below. I wanna communicate with you guys, get a flow going. So let me know what you think so far. Let me know what you think of the edit so far. Are you a photographer? Are you just watching, like seeing how photographers edit photos? I'd love to know, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. All right guys, so we're currently in Photoshop. As you can see, we have the photos here. I have my uh, Wacom tablet, so we are gonna be editing with a tablet. Although everything that I'm doing, I used to do with a mouse up until like three weeks ago. So it's definitely possible if you have a mouse, but I'm gonna show you the basic edits that I do in Photoshop. Um, I do take my time in Photoshop. I wanna make sure I'm getting a nice, clean aesthetic so that clients are happy with the photos and they obviously, when they share them, people will look at the photo and be like, oh wow, this is actually done very well. And I'm gonna show you the minor things that actually make a difference when you're using Photoshop so that the client might not notice the difference if you show them before and after, but when they see the final photo, they're gonna be very happy that um, you know it looks the way that it looks. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean by that. So I'm just gonna get my tablet here. So what I do is I use a few things. I have a frequency separation action down here and I have um, the spot removal tool right here. So just one sec, let's click. All right, so I have the spot healing brush tool. That's the main one that I use. Um, so I'm just gonna go here and I'm just, just gonna get rid of these little dots, okay? These little dots on the ground. And I do this before I do any frequency separation. So just get rid of these things here. Get rid of this, this, this. Just these small things on the ground. 
I get rid of that before I do any frequency separation because once we do the frequency separation, it can sometimes get annoying to fix these things a little bit later because it separates the detail from the actual skin, if that makes any sense. And maybe one day I'll do a video specifically on skin retouching and like how to set up frequency separation, although I feel like there's so many good videos on that and I'm not a you know, crazy professional when it comes to skin retouching, so I'd rather let other people uh, do those kind of videos. <laughs> Uh, but if you guys do want to see it, just let me know down in the comments. So just remove that, this little thing right here. And then that's pretty good. Anything that's like bright or takes your eye away from the photo, those are the things that I'm removing. Um, so as you can see here, just these little things on the wall. Good, good. And then I'm going to show you guys a before and after just so you can see how minor of a difference this is, but how big of a difference it actually makes in the photo. So that's mostly it here and then here and this is just a spot removal what's it called again let's see it's the uh, spot healing brush tool really really cool tool um, literally just remove stuff in one click I love it all right so this is pretty good to me I'm gonna show you guys before and after by going here to my history and then going like this so that's before that's after before after before after before after or after <laughs> so it's pretty clean guys like it makes a really big difference when you think about it um, it just makes it look a lot more clean a lot more commercial now so a lot of photographers don't do this but it's definitely worth it your clients will notice the difference in the long run between you and other photographers who have all these little things in their photos that take away from the actual client you know so I'm just gonna zoom in on different parts of the photo I want to know what I want to fix from a wide standpoint here so I can see some blemishes on his knee uh, maybe some blemishes here on his arm, just even out this, the tone there. His skin looks fine actually because he's wearing glasses, uh, but we'll zoom in there in a second and make some minor adjustments. So right now I'm on the skin layer, so I'm going to be uh, getting rid of the skin, not the actual detail. So I'm actually going to turn the detail off just to see what I'm doing. Switch to the spot removal adjustment tool and just get rid of these small little blemishes here. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't like a high-end retouch. It's just a basic retouch. All right, guys. So like even that is enough for the for the leg like that's totally fine just even out that skin and I'll show you before after just get rid of those little, little blemishes there here um, probably that this and then this is a little dark maybe get rid of that so something like that is good get rid of this little bright spots that came in here something like that I'll come in with the brush tool later and fix that a bit and we'll just get some rid of some of these darker patches here just so the eye doesn't focus on that when they're looking at the photo. There we go. And I'm just gonna go here and get rid of these small ones. And this photo was not super in focus because it was far away. Like if I put the detail back on, you'll see there was a bit of detail, but it wasn't super clear because I was probably shooting at f2.8. Um, but I'm just gonna get rid of this one more time and get rid of any of these minor blemishes. I'll probably have to go in the detail layer to get rid of a lot of the bigger blemishes, but here we go. Good. There we go. Looking good already. So I'll bring the skin layer back on. And that looks fine to me. If you zoom out, everything looks clean. And I'll show you guys the before and after. And then I'm going to speed through these next couple edits. So that's before, that's after. Before, after, before, after. Really clean, minimal edits. I'm going to save that. It's going to load in Photoshop and now we're going to go through the rest of these edits guys. So there's 15. Um, I'm just going to go through my vibe. I'm not going to speak too much. Maybe even speed this part of the clip up and then just show you guys what they look like at the end.
All right guys, so we only have two photos left that we're editing. I don't know, this must have been like an hour so far, so you're probably watching it sped up, but um, yeah, lots of work going into it. It's going pretty well so far. Ooh, yo, Ugh. oh my lord. All right guys, so we just finished up in Photoshop. Took a little while, but now we're done. So now that we've edited and retouched them, I'm just gonna add in some sharpness. So let's just go to 100%. Gonna bring that up quite a bit. Bring the radius and detail down. And then bring the masking up quite a bit. There we go. That should be fine. And then I'm just gonna sync that with the rest of the photos. Now let's just take a look. Everything's looking clean. Very good. This one looked a little cool, so I'm just gonna warm it up just a bit. Something like that. Maybe a bit more green. That one looked good too. Something like that I think is good. For these, I might warm it up just a bit and then sync that with the rest. And then I think I'm done. Those look good to me. Check these, these are good. All right, everything looks good. So now I'm just going to publish them into his online gallery and I'll show you guys what the before and afters look like close up. All right guys, so we finally completed the edits. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we did, why we did them, etc. So uh, let me get into it right now. I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step exactly what we did. So this is the before of the photo, the first photo that we edited. And as you can see, what we did was we brightened it up and we got rid of a lot of these like little marks on the ground. And these marks here, these marks here. If you look closely on his arm, we're gonna get rid of some of those shadows, some of the darker hairs. And on his face, we got rid of some of these marks. So if I go here to the edited version, you'll see his skin looks cleared up. Nothing too crazy. His arm looks cleared up as well, and the floor is cleared up. So that's before and after on that one. Then we have this one. So this, I wanted to get rid of this. I wanted to get rid of the marks on the floor. And as you can see, after, it looks way more clean. And we got rid of this little thing on the door. For the next one, we have this. Similar um, concept, so basically we have here with this little thing on the door and we have this, got rid of all the stuff on the floor, got rid of that. So that one's pretty clean as well. Here, same thing, we got rid of this on the door, made it look like that. Cleaned up his face just a little bit, got rid of these marks on the wall. Next we have this one, so we got rid of these little marks here and here. And we also got rid of this, we got rid of this. So really just tidying it up. Here we got rid of this, this, and we cleaned up his face a little bit. So that one looks clean. For this one, got rid of this stuff, got rid of this, got rid of this, just to clean it up and make you look, like it helps you direct your focus to his face when you clean these things up, so that's what I did. Here's for the darker photo, we brightened it up, got rid of this guy, got rid of some of this stuff. That's before and after. This was a pretty big difference. This was dark, it was blue, got rid of some of this dirt on the ground and we also warmed it up. So that was a nice big difference. For this one, we have this, cleaned up the skin, cleaned up the grass a little bit. Big difference here. Got rid of this tree, got rid of this. So honestly, like these minor differences actually make a pretty big difference in my opinion. This is why I do it. Um, this is why, you know, clients pay me to do this kind of stuff because we're really cleaning it up. We're giving it that commercial look and this is only for social media, right? So this is why people pay for work like this because you're making it look like perfect. Like that's the kind of look that they want. So here, um, I got rid of the bike, I got rid of the people in the background. So, pretty clean edit. And then this one, just cleaned up some stuff on the wall, cleaned up his face just a little bit, and this last one, 
same thing cleaned up his face a little bit cleaned up this stuff on the wall down here as well so that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video this is exactly how i edit photos for clients if you enjoyed it let me know down below comment what your thoughts are what kind of video should i make next if you have any ideas where you're like hmm, i, I would have wished that he did this in this video let me know in the comments down below that way i know for my next video what exactly i can make i want to be making more videos like this for instagram youtube facebook etc so i want to know what you guys think comment them down below and i'll be able to make a video on that in the future thanks so much for watching guys again my name is kyle benjamin turner and i'll see you on the next video